You're inside doesn't mean you're away from the dangers of air pollution. In fact, you are more susceptible to it. And one of the major causes could be sitting right on your desk. The CBC's Alex Friedman is in Winnipeg with more. Alex. Yes, Andrew. In fact, here it is. This could be the culprit. This is an office printer and not particularly this model. But what happened was we saw this study being done in Australia that was looking at the emissions coming out of office printers. And we thought, my goodness, I wonder what's going on with the printers that are here in Canada in our offices, with the ones that we sit next to every day. Here's a look at what we found. The sources of outdoor air pollution are well known. But Canadians spend 90% of their time indoors where pollution is trapped. A recent Australian study identified one significant source, testing office printers for ultra-fine particulates, or UFP. Much like smog, but the particles are so small, scientists have only recently been able to measure them. These uh, small particles uh, uh, remain uh, airborne for much longer than the larger particles, which tends to settle out. And they also, when you breathe them in, tends to penetrate much deeper into your lung. 27% of the printers in that study were considered high emitters. 71,000. The CBC conducted its own sampling of office printers in three businesses in Winnipeg. And of the 25 printers we tested, seven are high emitters. Just per mass, the amount of small particles that you uh, inhale if you sit uh, anything from uh, two to three feet from a printer is about the same as uh, sitting next to a, 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 a person that smokes. The makeup of the particles from a printer versus a cigarette may be different, but just the mere presence concerns scientists. And while the research is still at the early stage, a growing body of evidence shows links between UFP and a variety of cardiac and respiratory disorders. The Australian study identified a number of Hewlett Packard printers among the high emitters because HP sells the most printers. I have no grounds on which to dispute their findings. And the experts I've talked to says, in general, these guys are these guys are credible. But the company says it hasn't seen any study conclusively linking the emissions to health effects. Still, office managers who are using emitting printers are concerned. Well, we should look at probably changing out, getting something with uh less uh, output of exhaust and different types of chemicals coming out of them. So Alex, what can people do to protect themselves? Well, unfortunately, Andrew, as we mentioned, it's very early science and it's difficult to know exactly which printers emit more than others. There are a couple of independent certification groups, one in Europe called the Blue Angel Group, another in the US called Green Guard, and they list a number of very low emission printers. But again, there are no set standards for ultrafine particulate matter. Uh, governments have yet to do it, although they are looking at it right now, so it's hard to say exactly what is safe right now. Do talk to dealers if you're looking at buying a new printer and ask them about emissions and which ones have better certifications because ultimately it's the market that's going to bring in the healthier printers. All right, Alex, thanks very much. The CBC's Alex Friedman in Winnipeg.